try and get this going. Um, if anybody notices any streaming errors or anything like that, um, it's because I changed the latency for text. So instead of it being 30 seconds, it should be fairly responsive. Um, I understand that internet, especially on a weekend, can get fairly gross. Yeah, let's turn this all the way down. Yes, there we go. Alrighty. Um, yeah, let's change this input right here. So, hopefully, you know, in a perfect world scenario, we're going to beat this game this last time. Meaning, we're finally going to do it. Um, last place we left off, I was pretty low on credits, so I grinded a little bit. I got to this spot because I found the way to get um, the green armor and then the uh, gold armor right after. So I practiced it a little bit, but not really much because I didn't want to waste any of the lives I had. So you know, on that note, I'm going to start playing. Um, if, if anybody's watching and they are curious on what next I might play, I have no clue. You guys should suggest it below. Um, I'll wait until a few people drop in because I don't want them to miss this amazing top-notch quality. So here we go. We're going to continue with this. If I lose with this gold armor, I'm going to get really pissed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Yes. No, nope, come on. I practiced this part a little bit, because this is the only part that really sucks. And I can't get through until the bird thing is done. I'm already nervous, because this is this is legit. It's too legit. And the timer's already pretty low. It sucks. Alright. We're there. Oh, damn, I missed it. And we're down. And here's the boss. <sighs> okay. Let's get this bad boy. I'm, I'm actually really nervous now because uh, this, this is legit. I, I will. There are consequences now if I lose. Especially if this whole situation goes on. I hate that he goes off screen so much. It's ridiculous. Especially with this part that might be timed. I just need to hit him in the head. If I keep jumping, then it just baits him to stay up. Oh, oh man. Alright. Oh, hello. Stay. In. No, stop. Keep just die. Come on. I know, I know that this part is really difficult, and I'm good there. If I keep jumping because of this stupid auto aim crap, please tell me I didn't lose. Okay. Oh, okay. He's dead now. Now I have this guy. Oh, yep. That's right. This part's really difficult because his fire reaches longer. Yep, and that's why. All right. It's okay. It's an ideal scenario, because then I can just keep spamming it like this, instead of the way it was before. So I follow him. On the edge is when I have to get him. Otherwise, yeah, I need to wait for him. This sucks. Alright, so we got him there. If I get hit, which I hopefully won't. Yeah, let's see. You see that crap? Alright, I'm going over here, because I don't want to get hit. No! Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Come on. I was actually doing really well that time. And now we go through this crap again. Alright. You like that? Well, I don't. We're gonna just get through this as fast as we can. I don't have much practice on this part, so... And of course that happened. Not looking good so far. 
So, how's your guys' weekend been? Feel free to let me know on that one. Because I'd love to hear more. Mine has been fairly relaxing. I found out that uh, I can't find any of my Xbox controllers, so can't really play with the Raspberry. So that's kind of bogus. There we go. Got him. Woot woot! All right, let's get that gold armor. Or regular armor now, since I don't have anything else. Yeah, I don't want that. All right, let's go with. Is this going to be a bad guy, or is this going to be armor? Yep, a bad guy. Of course, because I'm pretty much naked. Oh, of course. Yep, all right. Got this. Off to a great start. Jump. I really want to start streaming newer games. Um, just because I want to see how much the internet can actually handle. So. Yeah, because um, we got a new capture card recently. And that's probably why the display, despite the, the whole pixel situation, looks good. Um, is because we got a new capture card. Raz and I split the difference uh, between price. And I think it, it absolutely behaves a lot better than, than the other one. Because the other one we were losing a lot of footage pretty much every recording session. But we really haven't had any chance in... Uh, get out of the floor. I know that's I know that's what you want to do. I know you want to get behind me. No, nope, no, nope, not gonna let you. All right, great. It's Fabu. Dude, come on, just leave me alone, Mr. Bully. Nope, stop. All right, we got some text from from the faithful. Excited for the stream? I am too. So far, it's not going the best. So if you just joined, you're in luck because you haven't missed anything. I got uh, to the second phase of the boss and then got hit because I was being stupid. So that's pretty much it. Come on. Nope, don't want the scythe. Give me armor. That's all I want. Give me armor. Lots of armor. Yes. Nope. Alright, my baby. Thanks for wasting my time. Come on. Come on. The boss takes forever to beat, so I'm really not, not happy that this is taking forever. And this is probably a bad guy, too. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. That's right. Here we go. Here we go. It's your boy, skinny penis. Dang it. <sighs> Game over. So soon. In the first, what, five minutes, ten minutes of the stream. Alright, we continue and press on. Doom, do, doom, do, 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 do. Alright, come on. Just come at me. Can't come at me, brah. That's all I care about. Just die. Come on. If anybody saw the last stream, they saw me play this, uh, this spot a few too many times. Come on. That's right. That's right. Yeah, there we go. Suck it. Shuck it sideways. Shuck it long and hard. Right. 
Sean Connery reference. Junior. That's the only other thing I can do of Sean Connery. <laughs> Good old Scott. Or Scotch. You know. Come on. I know you're over there. Just let me attack you. Yep, there you are. I don't want him to come back and bite me. Victory is upon us. Yes, that is true. Let me know and uh, see if if the uh, chat is is a little bit faster than it was before. Because I'm testing to see if we don't need the 30 seconds of delay. So if you could say something now. All right, fine. That. Yeah, we'll see how much delay there is. Come on, just... Oh, did I, I got him. Sweet. There we go. All right, let's do this. Let's... Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I was about to quote Duke Nukem. And as you can probably guess, that is not a, a clean thing to have. Yes, I will. All right. That's how fast your message showed up. So I don't know how much of a delay there was for that. Oh, leave me alone. Yep, I already knew that was going to happen. Yes, I would. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. If I run out of lives, I'm just going to reload the save state, because I don't want to bore you guys with this crap. Oh, whoa, I did not know you could jump off of the walls. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Or maybe I just messed up. Game. Oh, wait, did that? No. I could have sworn I just... Seems there is delay. Yeah. I could change that to have no low latency. But I think that it's a little bit faster than... Than it was a few streams ago. Because... On top of the streaming delay, there was 30 seconds of delay for the chat. So, when you send the message... It gets to me about the same time, it's just the video is is, uh, is off. So that's fine. I can be here from the future, and I'll let you know what's about to happen. So, I got you back. Yay, yes, that's a good one. Good. No, get out of the floor, come on, we don't, we're not doing this again, alright? I know you're there, I know you got him. Did I get you? I could have sworn I got him. I heard him. I heard it. Alright, now I have enough to get the gold armor, which is what I want really bad. Yeah, there we go. Alright. You like it? Alright. That's my Beetlejuice weapons. Come on. Yes, gold! Gold member. I love gold! I lost my gold in an important smelting accident. That's right. Yeah, nope, leave me alone. Lots of crap. Lots of crap. Lots of delay. Lots of Nintendo lag. So beautiful. It's amazing that gamers put up with this back in the day. But then again, they really didn't have anything to compare it to. Here we go. Floor Gargoyle. Yes. Hashtag Floor Gargoyle. It's the worst thing known to man. Okay, we're doing well so far. Da, 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 oh, I almost made it. We did it! Alright. Second shot at the main boss. Da. Come on. As long as... I'm waiting for your yeah, laser. Like your laser. I need to jump up because of the stupid homing thing. Yeah, that's right. Because otherwise, it, it just kind of hits him in the belly. Oh, crap. Yeah, that was already spoken for. That's okay. Just get him in the knee. He took an arrow to the knee. Alright, yep, duck. Got this. Yeah, that doesn't reach far enough. I have this crap mapped out. Right. We're gonna beat him. This the end is upon us. The end is nigh. 
Got it. Just take it to the knee. Okay, we got it. First phase down. First phase. First phase. Right, take that. Piece of crap. Take it to the knee. I know I don't have enough time. I might not have enough time to beat him. Because when I was practicing this before. Oh, yeah, that's right. Just get him stuck right there. You can see him, like, right on the side, getting hit. Yeah, see that crap? One little fire thing, that's all takes. So I'm keeping my distance as much as I can. Playing it safe. Only a minute. <laughs> this sucks. Alright. Come on. Just get caught on the lip. Caught on the lip. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Yes! Alright. We did it. We did it. We got to the next one. Oh. No way. That is not the end. There's no way that's the end. Oh, Returned again. Oh, that's right. This was no, no, no. There's no way. Did you, did you bring the bracelet? No. You must go back and find it. Oh my God. That's right. Never mind. Without it, you don't have a chance against Sardius. Whoever Sardius is, good luck. Arthur. So yes. That is the first ending, because stinking ghouls and ghosts, or whatever this is, super ghouls and ghosts. Wait, what the heck? No way. That means that... Yeah, I did better without the gold armor, but that's, that's because... Uh, the, the only way I got through his first stage was because of the gold armor. So I don't know if I could have gotten through that stupid bird section with without it or even other things. So um, the way that these games work by Capcom, is because they didn't want to redevelop and program new stages, they basically did ultra hard mode and they made you play through the whole game again. So in the first one... Uh, it's kind of like the whole like uh, princess, your toad, the toad saying princess, or your, the princess is in another in another castle, and it forces you to go through the whole game all over again. But when I saved uh, over the one spot, um, when I practiced it, I beat the section, but went through the whole game again, and that's kind of where the stream picked up off so this is actually the second time around this whole time i've been playing the hard hard mode which i didn't realize until now because usually at that point it's going to send me all the way back to the beginning so luckily you guys skip the whole first section and we get to see all this so uh yes oh that's right this whole part Yeah, we need the bracelet. Because that's how... Yeah, I know. Crap. That's right. Yeah, suck it. Alright, so hopefully we get the bracelet. Otherwise, this is pointless. Yeah, that's right. You remember this whole part. No, I don't want the arrows. Oh, no. Come on. Just need to, yeah, get him in the pattern. Yeah, so I didn't plan on playing through the whole hard mode. Or even the second one. I just wanted to beat it one time, but now we need to get that uh, bracelet. Not that. So if I wait here, not not here. What is it? It's because in the first game you needed a shield. Um, one of these weapons turns into 
the bracelet. I've never, I've never beaten the second, um, the second uh, playthrough thing, so this is a new one for the both of us. I have not beaten the second try on both of these games, so if I, uh... come on, you got this. Oh no, 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 no! Hashtag floor gargoyle. Come on, just get stuck in my arrows. Just get stuck in my arrows, it's okay. It's okay. Jesus will love you either way. I think Jesus would like it if you were if you were gone. Consumed feces and expired. So that's what's ridiculous. This is actually sending me all the way back through it. Dun, 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 dun. Part of me just wants to go reset the stinging section and find the bracelet. Because without the bracelet... I mean, I don't know where it is. Did I beat him? Getting pretty good at that. <laughs> no, I know you're there. Get out of here. You just gotta trick him. Just like that. No, get out of the floor. No, 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 no. Come on, what kind of crap is that? I hate this, I hate it, I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Alright. If you were gone? What do you mean? I, I don't understand. If I was gone? I'm sorry. I don't understand the paper. So I just need to keep baiting them to go up higher. Oh, hello. Just like that. I don't know where he is. Oh yeah, there he is. Come on, just... Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Just come on. <laughs> no, get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I know I'm in my underwear helpless and you're, you're thirsty, boy, but I'm not about that life. Get away from me. You're just wasting my time. There we go. You should still love gargoyles. <laughs> yeah, that's, yep, that's what I was saying. No, Jesus would not love gargoyles. That's why they were disobedient, right? Because... They didn't. Uh, they didn't get on Noah's Ark. That's why there are no, no more, right? Um, my Jesus says that gargoyles shouldn't be alive. So I don't know who you are. You and your your gargoyle love, but. Despicable human beings, practically demons. I don't remember what's after this, so crap. This was like th four or five. Yeah, see, look at this. Crap. This is much easier, but it. it. Right, it's right. No. Take that. Take that. Yeah, it's right. It's right, baby. Right. Stay off the screen. Let me hurt you. Let me take an arrow to the knee. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, alright, take it. No, no. See, he doesn't. Yeah, my god says that, that gargoyles are not thanked. Da -da -da. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. This guy is so much easier to beat because he just likes to stay in that little. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna swoop down and hurt me, aren't you? Aren't you? 
Yeah, that's right. I know you're there. You, oh, okay, got him. Yeah, see, you just go right above me every single time. Diddy do. Oh, no, get out of the floor. Come on. Every single time this happens, and you know what? I lose my armor because I can't avoid it. There we go. Yep, that's right. Bounce in between those. Die. Ugh, that's right. Stupid goggles. Just die. Why do you. Why? Why? Why do you exist? Willful this. Very disappointed with you. Lots of. Yes, I think I killed them. What is it? Yeah, there it is. A chest. Dying chest. Yes, we have armor. Huzzah! And we're at this bird again. I think it's really annoying that these are homing arrows, but you know what? It's perfect for gargoyle season. I'd be very, very quiet. We'll hunt the gargoyles. And it does even more damage. Do -do -do -do. That's right. Oh, well, that's so much for that. Did I kill it? Already. Mm. Intrinsic. Oh, I'm intrigued by the power. The unlimited power of this impenetrable. That's more of a British mortal kind than anything. Oh, I'm Batman. Alright, come on. Boo! It's right. It's right. Got the grog. I need to check every single chest, because I just want the bracelet. <gasps> okay, we have gold armor. So if we use this, yeah, this should show any chests. Right. It should give me chest. Non chest. Give me. Oh, there's a chest there. Sweet. <gasps> this is it. This is the bracelet. This is the bracelet. This is what I wanted. Yes. We found it. We've done it. Huzzah. Now we just need to beat her. Come on. We just need to get through the whole game now with, with the bracelet without getting hit once. The problem is this doesn't reach nearly as far as you would like it to. Come on. No! There we go. No, dang it. Alright. Well, we still have the bracelet. Come on, just die. Why does... And now it doesn't reach nearly as far. It's okay. We have the bracelet. And we fall on the fire again. It doesn't do. It's not that great, but it it uh, which we call it. It absorbs the stuff. Now it's just gonna be a pain in the butt fighting these gargoyles. Cause you know what? Swoop down. That's right. Swoop down. I'm gonna bait ya. I know what you want. I'm not about that life. So. Just, yeah, see, look at that. That's ridiculous. This is... How am I supposed to beat the game? This is like one of the worst weapons. Oh, uh, yep. See, there you go. There you go. There you go. I wonder if I can get the bracelet every single time. Because if not, what is the deal with these people? I don't understand. Yeah, see, I need to beat him the honest way. Not about that life. Come on, you got this. You got this. That's right, you're gonna dance in front of me. Piece of crap. Come on. Yeah, look at that game over. And what do you know? Wait for it. Ladies and gentlemen, zero credits left. Back to the beginning. Yeah, that's right. Yes, the faithful. Can't beat him without the bracelet, lol. Developers really said we just want to make the game harder. No, yeah, these these developers were straight up, you know what? 
These guys, these kids that are going to be gifted this... You know what, let's make it hard. No, no, scratch that. Let's make it extremely hard. On top of that, let's make them play through the whole game again. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, and by the way, if you don't beat the last boss on the second playthrough all the way through with a bracelet that you randomly find through the game, psh, let's let's put them through the last two hardest levels. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I'm not dealing with this, so I am going to uh, go to the save that I'm sorry. Because this is a live stream. Nope. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, that was too close. That was way too close. Dun dun dun. Nope. Alright. Oh, wow. Nope. Alright. Don't jump. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't need the gold armor. I didn't need the bracelet. Nope. Yep. Keep that in your mouth. Keep it, don't you dare. There we go. Alright. So, the only way to get the bracelet is to actually keep the gold armor. And you know what? I know there's some armor right here. Yeah, there we go. So. There we go. Got some, got some goodness. And oh, that's right. No, see, I, it won't even matter if I beat him now. Then there has to be some armor somewhere. Just give me the. No, I can't do this. If I beat him, then. Uh, if I beat him, then. Then we're all doomed. No, seriously. If, if I beat him now, then it's just going to be the same exact thing. So, reset, I know, that sucks. So here we go, we're gonna beat this. Please be a weapon. Nope, not what I want. Oh wait, there's a, there's a chest down here, I know there is. Yeah, there we go. Is this gonna be the bracelet? I knew there was one down here. The shield. I guess that's good. Um, I guess we have a better shield now. I just need the bracelet, because without the bracelet... <laughs> without the bracelet, we're not going to get it. That's kind of a Jack Nicholson thing. I need to work on that one. I wonder if the shield works a second time. So, I wonder if I can get hit several times now. Oh, but a bit about. That's right. Thread the needle! Thread the Nintendo needle. Alright, is, is there a chest in here? Please show me a chest. Please show me a voluptuous chest. Do <laughs> That's right, I know there's a chest here. Oh, that's right. Nope, yes, 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 that's right. Yes, unlimited power. So let's redo this whole part, because I know that ghosts are here now, so yeah. let's make them despawn. Or not. No despawning. I guess they're just going to keep showing up. Nope, leave me alone, ghosts. See, look at this. Now I'm not going to have enough time beat the boss. Let's go up. Oh, this is not going to be good. I don't know. No, we're not. Fine. It's okay. We don't need the gold. Let's go here. Nope. Leave me alone. Oh, come on. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's the way that it works. You have to have gold armor. But now that I have it and I'm back at this spot, I know that I can get gold armor. The only difficult thing is actually, you know, the idea that it's impossible to play the game without arrows, you know? So, now I have to deal with this guy. 
and this fairy bracelet thing does like nothing. So, it's a little bit of a learning curve. At least now I know where the bracelet is. Come on. Come on. I totally forgot I got hit. Wow. Alright. Give me that. That's right, give me that. Yeah, look at how much more difficult this is. Or how much longer this takes. Nope, come on. Mr. Mohawk Bird. Come on. Uh, this is the worst. Worst ever. Nope, come on. And wait for it, and go. That's right. And wait for it, and... Oh, no, you're not gonna... Okay. There we go. Opa. That's right. Suck it. Suck it long and suck it hard. Okay. Shoot your face. That's right. <laughs> Stupid face. That's right. Oh, no, no. That's... Too close. Too close. Too close. Just, just take it. Oh, man. That's way too close. Just die. Just die. Look at how many hits that takes. And now to fight a gargoyle. That's what I needed. Gargoyle. And a wet and a bad guy. Give me armor, give me armor, give me armor. Oh nope, there's the arrows. That's what I would love to have right now. But you know what? It's too easy. Yep, get away from me, stinging dancing gargoyle. Nope, alright. And there we go. Seriously, the bracelet is terrible. Yeah, the bracelet is terrible. The bracelet Ugh, is nothing more than a C ring. That's what that is. Bum, 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 yep, and look at that. What do you know? Right, right off the bat. We suck. I suck. Yep, and there we go. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I don't care. I don't care. I just... Yep, and that was the last of our continues, so... This is a new level of hard. And it's not cool, by the way. What if I have to use this to show the... Is this going to change it? Nope. It is not. Was this the bracelet? Was the bracelet down here? No, the bracelet was up there. That's right. The really crappy place to have a bracelet. <laughs> Heaven forbid putting the bracelet in an easy spot. Put it where there's infinitely spawning enemies. It took me long enough to actually beat the game, and now I realize that I didn't beat the game because of this crap, so... That's right, give me. Give me thine. Oh, come on. Come on. Nope, I know that- Come on! Come on, man! Come on! Come on. Now I have a shield. <laughs> That's what I needed. A shield. There's no point. Like, what's the point of continuing if, if I can't even... Yeah, look at that. See? How do I get this other chest to show up? I know it's here. I know you're here. I can see you. Long and hard. Not hard and long. Come on. Oh, alright. Yeah. See, I'm going to constantly reset this, because this is ridiculous. I beat the game. And you know what? They don't like it. That's not what they want. They're against us, man. This has become a reset. I'm not good enough. I will admit, I'm just, I'm not good enough. Look at all these. This is ridiculous. Come on. Come on, just die. There we go. There we go. We got the second. I know there's one. I know there's a second one here. Yes, that's right. Yes, we have this. We have that. We have a shield. This is. This should be here. Oh, come on. Where the heck is the second? Where is it? 
Come on. Aw, oh, come on. That's so stupid. I swear we found the, the shield. Yeah, these thing flying fetuses. The bracelet does suck, but that's why it's a new kind of heart. They weren't gonna let you get off easy. Come on. Oh, alright. Oh, alright, just following him. Ugh, I, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> this is horrible. This, this is absolutely major suckage. Yep, see, look at that. Reset fest. I don't care anymore. I don't care about my pride. This is not happening. Yeah, look at that. That's ridiculous if that happens. Come on. Throw it. Throw it. You have to wait for all of them to disappear. That's horrible. You. Yes, throw. And then there's always one that strays off. So the bottom. <sighs> I don't care. I'm not, I'm not an 80s gamer. Or a 90s gamer. So you know what? I have an excuse to not... <laughs> to not play it. To not be good at it. Where the heck... All right. Either way, I know it shows up if I do this. Just give me the crap. Where's the bracelet? It's not even spawning. So how how do they expect me to beat the game? How is it possible? What manner of magic is this? Yes. Yeah, it is my nightmares because it, it won't even let me beat the game if I wanted it to. It literally is saying, nope, not yet. That's, that's that's all that's happening. I just you watched me beat the final boss. It's it doesn't it doesn't get any. Ugh, come on. It's not like well there is a third phase. <sighs> all right, where the heck? I don't. I just need to find the bracelet. It's it's not happening. All right, there we go. I know it's not up here. I'm literally constantly in the evil trenches. I'm hoping something will spawn it. But you know what? Nothing is. Come on. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't beat this game. I can't, it literally is not letting me get the stuff. So, we are going to keep using this until hopefully it gives us a chest. I'm gonna jump here, anywhere. Just give me a chest so I can find out where it is. Yep, I know there's one there. But you know what? It's a shield. Is that what I need? Is that going to suffice? I don't think so. And what does the shield even do? I still get hit twice. <sighs> <All right. clears throat> so, in the first game, you actually needed a shield. And that's how you got to the second ending. You literally can't beat the final boss without using the shield. So... If I get hit, it's still going to... Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's really... Um, dang it. Whoa. Um, yeah, so I honestly don't know how to do it. I don't know how to beat the game. So let's try and go up here. And let's see if this... Do I wonder if I actually have to have the shield, too? That would be ridiculous. Oh, this is the worst. This is literally the worst possible thing that could happen. Oh, boy. All right. And it's an enemy. Mm. That's what I wanted. Yeah, see? Look at that crap. Come on. It's, it's not possible. I don't think it's possible. I refuse to believe it. And that's always going to be an enemy. So let's go in here. 
for now. Because our chest should be a shield. See, we still got hit once and the armor flew off. So, this is more of a puzzle than a platformer. If I knew how to beat it, if I if I actually knew what came next, then then this might be redeemable. Yeah, let's go that guy. Let's go up here. Come on. And hit him. Yeah, yep, of course, you're always gonna split one to go that way. Come on, just die. No, come on. You guys can count this as a non-win. I just want to actually see how to beat this game. On we go. Reset. Right underneath me. Uh. Mm. Maybe this is one of those games where I, I have to come back to it after three years of training in the mountains under some hardcore monk. Intense gamer uh, breed. I'm, maybe I'm just not at, I'm not high enough level yet <laughs> in real life. Yeah, what the heck is that? Look at that. This is ridiculous. Fit all three of them. Yeah, let's walk forward. Pick it to the face. I'm going to charge it up. Destroy this. Have it up. Take that. Have it show up. Just like this. And that's right. <gasps> Fairy. All right. We're getting there. Oh, that's right. Let's go down here. I don't want to. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. Okay. On we go. Nope. Not what I wanted. Let's go up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Have it about. That's right. Nope. All right. Nope. Eh, get out of my way. All right. We are here. This should be it. If I can beat him. <laughs> and it's, this, this weapon sucks. It really does suck. I have to hit him in the face. good at this whole jump control because the second jump you get lets you control oh yeah the problem is like this come on shoot your little little crap oh, come on just let me let me beat you let me beat you come on how long is this gonna take come on man He's killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. I only have a minute. That's for both. Both forms. And look, what do you know? Fire. Fire. Yeah, look at that. Come on. Just let me see if I, it's possible to... Nope, and there we go. Oh, man, no. Oh, it's so dangerous to... I wonder if I can... Because I can block the fire. Nope, come on. Come on, 32 seconds. It's not going to happen in 32 seconds. Oh, man. It doesn't reach far enough. This thing doesn't do enough damage. Come on. See the fire. I'm pre Nope, it, does, it doesn't even get rid of the fire. Come on. This isn't going to happen. <laughs> I don't get it. This is a new kind of gamer. It's a new breed. But only the, the hardcore. Four, three, two, one, and timeout. It didn't even matter. Let's see the bracelet and if you reveal it first. Yeah, that's the way I think it is. Luckily, I have the bracelet now. And you know what? It's great for all this. 
I swear that I need I need the gold armor, I need the bracelet, I need Wait, I didn't even get to check what the what the uh, special move was. I think I need all of the above. I think I need the shield, I need the gold armor, I need everything. So you did a lot of damage on those guys. Come on, give me more points. Come on. I need more time though than that. Because even still, if I beat him, I wouldn't have had enough time to actually... Come on, there we go. I wouldn't have had enough time to... Oh, come on. I wouldn't have had enough time to beat the second phase, which actually has a third phase, believe it or not. I already know what that guy looks like. No, come on. Why'd you do that? Don't put me through this. Don't put me through this. Come on. Alright. Now time to beat a gargoyle with this thing. Come on. Nope. And there's the arrows to tempt me. Oh ye temptress. Oh, oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. This has got to be something. Something good. Nope. Nope. All right. All right. Oh, it's not pop. I can't. <laughs> I give up. This game has beaten me. Him and his gargoyle bulge. Oh yeah, that's right. Got him. Oh, that's right. There we go. Too bad I have literally no armor. And three minutes to... Oh, come on. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, boy. There we go. Please be armor. Please be armor. Nope. What do you know? The game, the game is literally telling me to go screw myself. That's all this game is sending out right now. Come on. I think you're dead so I can... Smash it. That's right. Choke your crap. Oh, and it doesn't block it. Oh boy. Everything is so much harder with this bracelet thing. Ugh, there we go. Oh boy, here we go. And I'm gonna have to go get that extra armor that's over here on the side. Which I know... It's not easy to get because these ghosts literally get every chance they, they want. Yep, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Get armor. Get armor. I know you, Mr. Fetus Manor. Oh, of course, it didn't hit the fetus. Yep, I know how to get here without getting hit. It's just. <sighs> Let's do it. Let's do this. Sending out bad vibes. Thank you. And look, that doesn't even. <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> and it's gone. Uh... Man, this game. There's still levels I haven't. That this is the end. Why is it? Dun, 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 dun. I know there's... see, wait, where is it? Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. You should be sending out good vibes, not bad vibes. Because I'm not going to beat this one out. There we go. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Ugh. Alright. I should have saved this game for, like when we reach like 500 subs again or when we actually reach 500 views per video this is i mean from here it just goes down cuz there's no way that there's a game part of this this is this it literally feels impossible ah uh, come on Alright, we fall to the bottom. See, and it takes so long to get through these parts, it's like the timer literally is saying, 
Yeah. Oh, and we miss. Alright. Yeah, see, I don't... I, I ask myself that same thing every day. I just need this stinking bracelet, right? It's supposed to be that easy, but nope. It's not. The only way they do it is to literally... Oh, you have something. You have something. You have armor. Yes. Nope. We, oh, of course. And <laughs> we lost it right there. I wanted to see what its ultimate move is. That has to be the way to beat it. All right. We go to the bottom. Onward. Thanks for that. Yeah. The, ge the game is sending me bad, bad vibes. This isn't... I don't care. That was the end. There weren't any more continues. We must go back to the bottom and get that stinking. Ooh, ooh. There we go. We need to get the stupid shield. Without the shield, apparently it doesn't want to have it. You really need to be a top notch player for this. And then all the way back. It literally takes a minute. That's not... it's not possible. It has to be. Because people have done it. Why would the game creators make it if they didn't think it was possible? Right? Especially in this era. This is the golden era. The golden era of video games. And glam and rock. Well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. See, and even if I do this perfectly, we are going straight to... We're probably going to get to the boss at two minutes. Come on. Come on. No! Alright. Fine. There we go. We got a bracelet. And you know what? Doesn't even matter. This is not... Yeah, see that? Come on. I just want to see the end. That's it. Oh, that's right. We need to go all the way down. We'll try and speed run going down. There we go. That's how you do it. Gotta make this bad boy show up. If this doesn't show up, nobody's happy. This game literally is sending me bad vibes. Oh, all right. me currently in the in the maturity and the level of skill that I am in a, at right now it, it's not possible it's not happening I don't know how I gonna I'm gonna have to like intensely study a speedrun and that's the only way we might have to skip to a different game because uh, this is not it's not working dun, 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 dun. Oh, of course. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. I think I got it. I think I got it. Got the shield. Jump up here. Forward and left. Jump up the ladder. I wish this was faster. Get good with a U. Get good, bra. That's what that's what this game is literally telling me. It's not. It's not good. I'm not good. I'm just. I'm. I'm perfectly fine accepting that I'm not good enough for this game. This game. I picked literally the hardest. Oh my god. 
Come on, come on. Just kill me. Kill me. Alright. I'm going to kill myself. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, and it's gonna be because of this game. On my tombstone, I want engraved. Never beat Squid Ghouls and Ghosts. That's, that's what it's gonna be. My family's gonna be ashamed. I'm not even gonna show up to the funeral. That's the way it's gonna go. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. And of course it hits me in the head. I couldn't have moved at all. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. No more save states. Save states were against my religion, but you know what? Now it's this game is it's pulling the punches. And it still is this difficult. I'm gonna get so efficient at losing, it's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, rip. I'll like rest in pieces, because uh, that's what's gonna happen to my armor in about a second. Yeah, that's right. Beak in my face. The way I like it. Yes, here we go. Doing better, doing better, doing better, doing better. See, these games weren't originally intended to be beaten so soon. Come on. What the heck? Come on. Nope, give me, give me the crap. Give me the. Nope, oh, alright, alright. Give me the. Give me the. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go, here we go. Alright, don't... No, oh, come on. No! Come on! Alright, oh. uh, we're so close. Let's speed run this again. So close to the boss. So close, it's not even funny. And if you're laughing, I can feel it. So, it's highly recommended you don't laugh at my, at my pain, because this is, it's starting to hurt in my, in my pride. In my pride rock, if you know what I mean. Blanking reference and reference to male genitalia, so. He's so good at beating these birds. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this! Let's go! Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Mm, yes. Oh, yes. I know it's there. I know it's there. I know you guys are there. I know it's. I know that's the way it is. Yep, that's right. And of course, you were in the ground. Ground ghost. Yep, see, and look at that. Oh, this is one big middle finger. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Just give me, give me a second. Give, give me, alright, I need pauses. One second. Take off the headphones. I drink to feel the pain. You may think I drink to not feel the pain, but no. This is the this is the definition of a sadist slash masochist slash someone who enjoys inflicting pain upon oneself. See, I. I didn't even plan on playing 
the whole second quest thing. I was going to save that for later, but you know what? I messed up. And because of it, we're actually doing it. Lucky you guys, right? Right? I wish the bracelet was earlier. That way I don't need to go through all that crap. Come on. Or Woody Woodpecker. Pick my nuts, that's what's that that's what's gonna happen. It. And there we go. Speed run. I just need to get up there before the minute is over. And yep. Oh, come on. It's like he's popping a squat. Right at the top of the ladder. Yes. <laughs> That is true. That, that's it. The faithful. It's it's one of those situations. Just just that's how I feel right now. Yeah. What the heck? It's <laughs> it's literally avoiding it. Oh, all right. Come on, take it, take it, take it. I almost just want to save when I get the bracelet so that it doesn't happen. So I don't have to keep doing this. But then I I don't think that. I think I'm gonna get it. Come on, show up. Show up. I know that you're there. Come on, throw it. Nope, come on, hurry up and show up. Show up. Ugh, that sucks. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. <sighs> Alright. Alright, don't do that. Alright, here we go. We're here. With the armor. And I don't have a special super. Why can't I shoot him in the crotch? Yep, see, look at that. I have to shoot him in the face. In, in a minute, 50? This isn't... This isn't that ideal. It's okay. As long as he doesn't move any... Yep, closer, just like that. I get him to shoot the laser up just like that. Nope. All right. Oh man, that was so close. Come on, shoot the laser. Flare the laser. <gasps> All right. This is so close. Just let me kill you. No. Nope. All right. Thanks. That's right. You can. <laughs> I can't do this, you know? I'm literally condensing a childhood of pain into, what, seven hours total? Oh, oh, wrong way. Yeah, let's just reset, you know? I don't care. Life sucks. Um. I wanted Saturday night to be to be fun. And you know what? It's not. It hurts. Saturday. A Saturday. The day before. The Sabbath. It's meant to be filled with Yeah, look at that. Nintendo skills. Boy. Alright. Here we go. Get him go. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it again. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right, baby. Don't do that. Why does everybody else still get to move while I'm stuck? No, nope, of course not. Look at that. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Turn into the freaking bracelet. That's right, baby. Alright. 
Nope, alright, don't jump up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, don't, of course not. Get away from me, get away from me. I know I'm helpless on the ladder. Jump down. Here we go. Yeet. Yo boy, Mr. Wooden. How's your day? This is not good. Oh man, come on. This, this. I'm, I'm happy you joined, Mr. Wooden. I don't believe I know personally who you are, but I'm excited to meet you, and I'm glad that you joined me. Nope, and there we go. Yeah. Yep, he is back. This is the final boss. This is the accidental second end, and you know what? It's not been fun. Because <sighs> you have to beat it with the bracelet, guys. It just has to happen. So you know what? It's not cool. And I don't I don't care for this, because he has a second phase. And there you go, he's dead. Yeah, he did. Oh man. I can't do it. I can't do it. Because literally, if I mess up on this one. Yes, I kiss my brother with that mouth. Many times, actually. And your mom too. I'm sorry. I'm, I can't. I can't do it. Because the issue is, the way with this game is, you guys weren't here earlier, but there in this game, for you to actually beat it, you have to play it through. You have to beat the final boss and then play it through at the very beginning. But because of me beating this game once, uh, when we started it up the second time for the stream, it made it so that I was starting the second quest, so everything's a thousand times harder, and I was wondering why it was so much more difficult. So, um, I beat the boss, both both versions, on this stream that you're looking at right now, and realized that you can only beat the game with the bracelet, okay, and get the true ending. So, I literally have to resort to save states, because... Yes, uh, I have to resort to save states because the game literally won't let me get the bracelet otherwise, so it's impossible to to beat the game. So you guys are going to watch me use save states and still frustrate. So we're going to do this. And you're going to see what I've been doing for the past hour. Yes, I know, I can't do it. Yeah. That's the way it's been. I have to go down here. I have to get the shield. I have to go up to this other area and get a bracelet, which gives me a crappy power-up. And you can only beat the final boss with the bracelet. Say it with me, guys. With the bracelet. With the bracelet. Yes. And I personally don't use condoms, Mr. So, no point bringing those into this chat. And kill these birds. Nope, alright. Oh, yeah, that's right. There we go. Now you guys are gonna see... Mr. Fear the Potato, thanks for joining. We were talking a little bit earlier. I have to join here. I have to reveal this. Okay? Alright, so we do this. We have to... Come on. No, stop! Stop circling. Stop circling. Alright, we have to let this show up with the fairy. We have to wait for the fairy to turn into the bra bracelet. Yes, just like that. Huh, no, alright. Wow, I'm surprised this has worked so far. This and now we have the bracelet. But it's not good. What no, get off the Oh man, this Come on. Come on. Get away, get away, get away, get away. No, no! Oh, come on. <laughs> well, you'll see, you'll see. This is screen sucks. Come on. Yes. No, yes, you're right. Now this guy shows up. I already beat him. I already beat his second phase. And he has a third phase. There's not literally not enough time for me to... Nope, alright. Alright, we get fire.
Thanks, Justin. Yeah, see, there there is no special power. It literally... You see... Okay, you, you see at the top where you see these little rivets on the side? Ribbed for your pleasure, pleasure section? And it charges up into the chest thing. That means that I can make everything work. Okay? That means that it shows the... It shows the, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit. It shows where the hidden chests are, and I need it to show the chest with the bracelet. When I get the bracelet, it does not have the little red things on the side, the little ribs. So, yeah, it's, it's just not a good time all the way around. Not a good time. And that's fine. I'm ugly and I'm proud. That's my thing. Alright, so... Just take it, just take it, take it from the face. Oh. Alright guys, you getting there. You guys are getting pretty intense in the chat. Come on, give me the fairy. See look, and now I need to wait for this thing to show up. Ugh, come on. Alright guys, you got yeah. This is not the time to be joking about that because it's it's pain and it sucks and this is life. I can't beat it. I literally can't beat this. I'm not good enough. It's the worst, worst first game to beat. to switch to another game. Any other suggestions on games? Because it's probably not going to happen. This is going to be three hours of me waiting for the the seven universes to align. That's not what I wanted to do. Are those cheating? Yes, I would consider save states cheating. Absolutely. Uh, because in the original game, you did not get save states. Back in my day, no save states. But, to rationalize it, I have already technically beaten the game. I just want the real ending. And even with save states, I can't do it. Do Castlevania 4? I can do that. We can... I haven't played it. Uh, I don't own the cartridge, but it is in the... The classic. So, let's see if we can do it this time. I will give it one more try. If this works out, then we will try it. But see, the stupid ghosts keep showing up. Mommy. No. Okay, look. This is how far I get. And we go do this. We do that. Nope. Let's see, look. We get stuck here. With this weapon, because this weapon sucks my nuts. This weapon absolutely sucks. But it's the one they make you beat the game to get the real ending with. G.U. Yes, I meant that one. Oh, and there we go, dead. Mr. Wooden Dong, fear the potato. Faithful is he? Yeah, no, I can't do Pornhub Live because my account is... I, I stopped paying for my subscription. <laughs> Alright, let's do a different game. Let's change this bad boy, because I need to do some research on that. So, Castlevania 4? Everybody good with that? Yes. I am not Hillary, but I will still love you. Nope, no save states. Let's try this. Let's do this, guys. Totally different atmosphere. Still horror, still monsters. But we got Konami. And they're not, not nearly as brutal as Capcom, for the most part. So, let's actually change the... No, no, this is a good, good, good. Uh, let's go back into it. All right, Castlevania 4 We're gonna do this, this game. I'm far less familiar with this game. Oh my gosh. Vote in, the, vote in the comments what you want me to name the character. I will do it. This playthrough will go down in history as... 
Yeah. I can't play. <laughs> yeah, Castlevania, we're doing it. The Konami code? Yeah, I don't have that, sadly. <laughs> yeah, what is the... What are we going to name the character? The chat's still behind, so... I understand. Let's call him... Mm. Yes. We are getting lots of interesting chats. Call him up. Let's call him in something instead of that. Schlong? Yes, I like that. We will do Schlong. S-H-R-O-N-G. Play Fortnite? I don't know if my internet is good enough for that. You guys can, you know, donate, of course. So, uh, that will help us uh, get a better internet. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I need to get used to this. This is the one where you can shoot anywhere, right? Come on. How do I... Oh yeah, that's right. There we go. Name it Mr. Wooden. I would love to, but it's too late. It's already happened. How do I control which way? That's right. I'm gonna get used to these controls. This is not. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. We got the knife, right? That's what we wanted. Moonwalk. Oh yeah. I'm gonna see if I can figure it. Remember how? Come on. Ew. Do 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 do. Come on. There we go. Yeah. There we go. We're gonna try and do this. Come on. Do 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 do. Yeah. There we go. Good old moonwalk for you. I see you and a gorgeous girl today, and have a great time with my family, too. That's great. That's absolutely greatness. Love to hear it. Uh, fear the potato. This music isn't quite what I remember it being. This is a little bit more creepy. God. I know there's a turkey here somewhere. Alright. I love the music in this castle. Maybe. It's so good. Yeah, there we go. There's a turkey. I know there is. And, yeah, stupid autocorrect. That's what I would say, too. Oh, that's right. I don't get a double jump. This is a totally different feeling game than... <laughs> than, uh... Than, uh, Ghosts and Goblins. We be behind the gates, yo. Sing with me, guys. Actually, I can't really sing it, so... Let's see what's behind you. Come on. There we go. I love in this one, too, that when we, we can actually, like, take the chain and wobble it around. Nice little details. Lots of coolness in this game. And, of course, that... I keep forgetting about the bat. That's fine. Everything's pretty much one hit. Or not. Stupid bat. Thanks for that, Fear the Potato. I'm so happy you have expressed your love for me. I'm way worse at this game than I am at Ghosts and Goblins, believe it or not. We have the axe. There's supposed to be chicken here. Oh, alright, alright. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There we go. There we go. Wait for that bad boy to shoot his, shoot his load all over everything. We got a base, we got something. Oh, it's invincibility. No, I'm not really sure what it is. There's gotta be something down here. Oh, that's right. Oh boy. Now, in this game, I have never gotten... gotten far at all. Yes, I got the axe, but then I accidentally got the knife. 
Is this the new Xbox? No. It is not the new Xbox. Yeah, this is the Xbox One. Look at these amazing 4K HDR graphics. Truly is amazing. What the heck? Oh yeah, that's right. This part, you can swing. That's really hard to actually get at. What's your favorite Castlevania game? I know that most of our viewers are young enough to to be exposed to at least one Castlevania in their lifetime. Yeah, love you too, uh, Fruit of the Potato. I'm glad I glad I met you. There we go, moonwalking up. We got this. Nope, stop. We got this. I know that there's... Yeah, there we go. It's supposed to be a turkey here. Nope, nope, no, alright. Alright, we got him. Doesn't matter. Alright. If you guys didn't know that um, this game, Castlevania 4, is actually pretty much a remake of the, the first one. It was a lot of nice little Nintendo polish things. As example, you, you can whip it pretty much anywhere you want. We got the holy water now. Great, I know that this thing's gonna drop. This suck. There you go. For the most part, okay, I want to pause this and read. The SNES or NES are the mortal enemy of gamers everywhere. It's true. Bats and dogs. If there are any bats or dogs in any game, you can you can just have a situation like these horses. Who, who thought that they were a good idea? Come on, just die. With that chain. All right, here we go. There we go, we got some hearts, but no food. And I realize that I'm very low on hearts. Where's the chicken leg? I've yet to die, but this is still the very beginning of Nintendo, so... Not a fun time. Oh, this is the time thing. Time clock that'll slow everything up. Oh, Medusa heads, no! Get off. All right, here we go. The thing about the Medusa, oh come on, the Medusa heads literally uh, come from whichever direction you're facing. So, yes, just like that. There we go. Oh yay, turkey leg. Fun fact: it's actually not a turkey leg. It's a it's a pork chop. I don't know how to use items, so... Alright, we have stuff here. And we're back here. Can you shoot down? Come on. Alright, dang it. Nope, can't get up there. What is that noise? Oh, this is the boss. First boss. First boss. I'm gonna use up all my items since they don't carry over, right? Oh no. Come on! Two hits? This is the first boss! Come on! What the heck? Dun, dun. Creepy music. We have something to make it longer. That's what she said. We have more hearts, these items, turkey leg, pork chop, I just told you it was a pork chop. Alright, fine, fine. Don't get hit in two hits. Okay, now we have optimal length for, for maximum usage. You guys know what I'm saying.
All right. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I wonder if I can just brute force him. Come on, this is ridiculous. Oh, we got one guy. Oh, all right. All right, we got something. No, yes. Come on, one more. Here we go. Come on. One hit, we barely made it on the first boss. That's both because I suck and it's a classic NES game. Grass NES, my bad. I remember these guys being so easy. And you know what? They're not. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Zoom in. That's not eye straining at all. Oh, we got so many other lights. I remember this part. Uh, that's right. This is. I hate this part too. They always freak me out. We have spiders too. We got the axe, we got lots of stuff. Classic music. I want to check if there's any secrets anywhere, because I honestly have no clue. Dun, dun, dun. There's stuff over here, though. Lots of hearts. Yeah, I can barely read any of the text. Everything's blown up so big. And voila. Voila. There's a secret down there, isn't there? I don't want to test it out, but. Got the axe. Make sure everything's gone. We got zombies. Classic Nintendo. Gotta have zombies and little creatures that you have to crouch to kill. Yeah, through this level, spiders, time to burn the game, we'll cancel and run. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Spiders are pretty, pretty not fun. Especially in this game. Come on. Oh, and then we have birds and crows. Those are also worth the worst, similar to bats. We have some little squigglies. Crows. Crow! Crow! Use jump crew. Got bats. Uh, I'm still worn out from the stinging ghouls and ghosts. Let me tell you, man. That sucked. I will beat it eventually, though. Just not today. Nope. Whoa. Plowing through this game. Because I have the axe, I don't want anything else. Come on. Oh, that's right. We, of course, of course, they just hug on to you. Is this going to be food? Oh, yes, the cross. There we go. We got everything we need now. Ugh, platforming in this game is almost just as bad. I don't want the knife this time. I want... I want that cross. Represent, am I right? Alright guys. Alright. Drumstick. Here we go. Come on, there we go. I love the atmosphere of this game. I love the atmosphere of most that SNES games, but did you ghosts and elves would kill any normal man, but you are normal more like superheroes. <laughs> Well, I didn't beat it, so you know what? <laughs> it still got the best of me. I just need to take a huge break. We're on the second boss already. Oh boy, we have Medusa, so... Oh jeez, oh boy. Cover your eyes if you're under 18. I don't remember this ever. Come on. 
食べればビールイエーイ Even though we're talking about Castlevania 4, which is still a ridiculously difficult game, it's still. This is more relaxing than. than Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, that's right. I always thought that those guys looked really, really cool. Those little flying bat slash. other goblin guys. I don't know what they're called. Little fly dudes. Come on. The water is going upstream. That's the way it goes, right? We're going up and going down. Now it's going back. I almost missed that, dude. And I have no health. Give me health. Give me health. Please. Oh, come on. Do da da. Better do da do da do. I like how everybody went on the chat and just spammed me with a lot of inappropriate stuff and then left. <laughs> That pretty much shows, shows the viewer base w e r e dealing with here. Okay, we're gonna beat this game before we beat Ghosts and Goblins. I will tell you that. Much more likely. Okay, made it through. Made it through. Get some more hearts. Oh, totally did not see that actually. I hate those things. Every Castlevania game, you're gonna find them. Oh, dang it, I don't want the cross. We got three. Oh. That's right, we have whatever those things are. Some good old Frankenstein、uh, hands floating for whatever reason. This game I don't think is gonna give me as much of a rage fest, but it's definitely, it's definitely gonna be up there. If you could,、um, do some homework and, and look up. Look up what some of the hardest games are on both Super Nintendo and. and,、uh, whatchamacallit? NES. Because those are the games that I want to beat. Obviously, you can't do、uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Come on, bad. We have drips. We have lots of drips. p e r s o n a l drips. Oh, we have Mud Man that breaks up into 30 different dudes. Come on. Come on. Cross. The power of Christ compels you. Best part about this game no loot boxes. <laughs> That's true. There are no loot boxes in this game. There are chests, but you know what? They're different because it's not a pay to win situation. If Ghosts and Goblins was a pay to win situation, I would absolutely play it again, but you know what? My opinion's a little sour. Hitboxes are a lot better on this game, so is the jumping. Look, I can actually steer in air. Oh, alright. I just wanna kill this guy now. Might have health. Nope, just the axe. Come on, nothing? Fine then. That way. Alright, l dead. Sweet. Thanks to Faithful for checking that out. Because now I'm just gonna relax and hope that that game doesn't visit me in my sleep. Music is so good in this game, too. I forgot though, does this game actually give you unlimited continues? Because I feel like it doesn't. This one gives you lives. Uh, and it says I have two. Only two. Alright l 
right then. Two to beat the whole game. Let's do it. Oh, I hate the bats. Especially in this game, just bats. Why bats? Why do the game creators always resort to bats? One, two, three. Three's always a magical number. Oh, we have this. Oh, that's cool. I did not know this was here. We have extra stuff. Lots of extra stuff. Yay! Oh, we have a cool. Oh, yes! That's right. That's right. Now we're, now we're stocked up. Now we can throw two uh, crosses. Got the plus two weapon. Alright. What else is there? There we go. Dang it, I didn't want the, the holy water. Alright, can I go through here? Nope. Alright. There we go. Got that. Got Mr. Sandman. Beat all these guys with that NES slowdown. Or SNES. I keep saying NES. It's all Nintendo. That was a slogan. Not really, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Come on, that was lame. Oh, of course, the shards hurt me too. That's ridiculous. Oh, you can fall. I'm not gonna fall for it. It's so ridiculous. I have to hit these guys so many times. Yep. Below. And next level. I remember this level. Oh, so difficult. As long as you know where everything is in the Castlevania games, it should be good. I wonder if I can actually kill this thing. Nope. Not. Well, okay, the faithful said something. I'm looking super good from those as number one for almost some fun. <laughs> why, why, why does that make sense? Uh, yeah. It is. It is an almost impossible game. That is... Of course it's number one. It, of course it's the first one I chose. Ah, it makes me feel a little bit better, but honestly, it makes me want to beat it that much more. And I feel like my whole like playthrough of it is now pointless because I... Uh, because I... Oh, come on. Because I use the save state. It's not the way it would have been done. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for looking that up, uh, because that is definitely one of the one of the harder games, the hardest, on record as one of as the hardest, which I always thought was interesting. Ooh, we have stuff up here. More hearts. More hearts. Two, three. Let's go over here. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. No, I didn't want the knife. Eh. Alright, fine. Hit me. Alright, fine. Kill me. Even better. Even better. Even better. On this one, even better. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. The music is Saturday morning. And here we go. It's 
just, I wish, I wish things were like they used to be. Uh, it's listed as 9 out of 10 uh, difficulty and called Game Demolitioning. <laughs> really? It's called Game Demolitioning. Interesting. I've never heard that before, but yeah, no, it, it totally makes sense. That game. That's, that's one of those games where people go their whole lives without beating. It's, I would compare it to, compare it to, you know how they say that there, there's like certain things you will never own in life, or odds are, you know, 9 out of 10 people will never own this. Like, most people in their lifetime will never even sit or own a Ferrari, as an example. Um, but, I think that, ah, uh, come on, I can't kill it, so you know what? We jump up, we jump up again, and we go over. That's how we do it. We just ignore that. And eh, that was big hearts, big hearts. It says I have no more lives left, so I honestly have no idea. I don't know what I can jump on. Eh, eh, eh. We have this. We have that. Oh, that's a tough jump. That's gross. Come on. Kill the bat. You could do the Country Wars 3. Yeah, that one is... That's also really, really tough. Um, that's another one. That's a good one right there. Country Wars 3. Um, that's definitely more difficult than Castlevania 4. But it's, it's one of those things where... Dun, 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 dun. Um, come on. Yeah. Where we'll definitely take this one at a time and slowly. Come on. Oh. And we made it up. Contra 3 Alien Wars. Yeah, um, at that time, there, there was a lot of dispute that that's the third uh, Contra, but it's actually actually not. Um, all these stupid guys. I don't like this stuff. Oh, and they spit out water. Of course, things drop from the ceiling. Look at how ridiculous this is! And the floor, the floor breaks too. And we have eyeballs. This is a little bit weirder than Ghosts and Goblins. But that's okay. We have that, we have this. Oh, that's right, these guys, yay! And we all love this, and they do a butt ton of, ton of damage. Come on, die, it's okay. With less health than ever. Alright, I guess we're going up here. Oh yes, there we go. Turkey, 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 turkey. All right. Nope. Come on. Why didn't it go on the ladder? No way. That's the end. So I got what to level to world four or whatever they call it. What did I get on? Three of three. All right. Let's continue. Oh, that's right. It's Nintendo hard. So we go all the way back here. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Not bad for a first run, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty good, pretty good. Oh, uh, we'll see. Those jumps swinging from the loops with your whip always scare the crap out of me. Thinking I'm always going to fall. No, yeah, they're not. They're not easy to control at all. Come on, like, come on. Even though uh, th this game revolutionized, I will say revolutionized the whip. It is so much more diff different to control it that way than, uh... Come on, back. Um, because I can control it in every direction, there's no excuse not to... not to get rid of it. So... Uh, I feel even worse when I'm getting it. Because it's really, like... It's, it wasn't up to me. I should have absolutely avoided it. But yeah, those jumps are not easy, because you have to hold the swing button and then let go at the right time while still controlling uh, your dude. So it's definitely not easy. Because you need to time it also. Of course, every single time that happens, that's really good. Two, three. It's okay, we'll get, we'll get through this. This one I definitely feel like I can beat. 
two, three, get him, go up here. Let's get some grids. Yeah, we got them all. And we got the pork chop. This is way more forgiving than those and goblins. I'll say that. And now I know where most of the secrets are, so it makes it a lot easier to uh, skip out. I feel that Nintendo, Nintendo uh, frame drop. And uh, the faithful, since you're, I believe, the only one left that's watching. There might be someone. Uh, it says two people are watching. So whoever the other person is, um, what is your favorite? Castlevania game. This one is a great one. Uh, Three Curse of Dracula, I believe it's called, is a really good one. The first one's classic, but very, very difficult and very buggy. Um, and two is interesting because they tried to do an RPG thing. Uh, very cryptic at times, but you know, it's it's uh, it's very difficult. Let's see what he says. Um, favorite part about SNES and NES games, breaking walls to find secrets. Yes. That, in the original, uh, not the original, in Link to the Past, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, there are so many secrets in that game. It's similar to the new Breath of the Wild, but it just it feels so good to find one spot where you accidentally break a wall and then find a cool new weapon or... or um, power-ups, more points, extra lives. It, it feels good to explore it, and I think that that's, that's something that we're missing in, in newer games. Obviously, um, you can say Dark Souls and, and a few other RPGs, like massive RPGs, have similar aspects, like um, Mass Effect games and uh, Dragon Age, Skyrim, things like that. You you can go off the grid and find extra things, but most of the time it's a quest, and and that quest oftentimes usually just it's connected to a waypoint, and then you kind of follow the path, and and that's when you're like, oh, I found this ridiculously OP weapon that I'm not supposed to get yet. Oh, game break. Uh, what the heck? Yeah, see that? That's a similar thing. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Um, the one where you have to find the different parts of Dracula's body, Castlevania 3, I think? Actually, that is, um, Castlevania 2. That is, uh, Simon's Quest. And it's, it's interesting because in that game, it's similar to, like, the, the sequels and most Nintendo properties, where they really tried to go on the opposite end of the spectrum with the game. Like, if you look at Mario 2, even though that wasn't... It's the, the American Mario 2. It wasn't it wasn't originally Mario 2. It was uh, Doki Doki Panic, which then Miyamoto uh, reskinned as Mario and then, you know, gave it over to us. Um, but, yeah, with Mario 2, it's totally different than all the other Marios. Um, if you look at Legend of Zelda, uh, the second one, which is Link's Adventure, that one's so much different than the rest. It's just turned from a, you know, action adventure uh, game to a side-scrolling RPG. And even if you look at Castlevania, a similar thing happened where they decided to go from the original uh, formula, which at that time it wasn't even really a formula. It it, it, they were still trying to figure things out, so yeah, see, this sucks. I don't want that. I want a longer, longer whip, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, they really tried to experiment with things and push the envelope, and they were either received well or, you know, awkwardly. But uh, interesting enough, the reason why a lot of people don't like Simon's Quest, because to be honest, the faithful Castlevania. Uh, two, which is Simon's Quest, is everybody's least favorite and probably the most hated. 
because of how cryptic it is. Because there are certain points that the whole reason why that game was uh, developed, well not de developed, not the whole reason, but the majority of that, the reason why that game exists is to help sell uh, Nintendo Power subscriptions. Because without the power, you honestly could not beat the game. Because so many things that NPCs told you were wrong, or they were cryptic um, enough that there's no reason for you to... You, like, you shouldn't know the truth by what they told you. And there's certain parts where, for example, you have to take enough Dracula uh, stakes to... There, one second, this is a hard platforming part. There we go. Um, you have to find stakes. They are oak wood stakes. And man, I hate these guys. Um, dang it! Come on, just die. Um, you have to hit uh, certain parts. I believe it's throw it at these orbs, and eventually you get a blue crystal that you're supposed to use to find a red crystal. I, I might be getting this totally wrong, but you have to find these crystals and then gather up parts of Dracula to then face him or revive him and then face him again. And then you have to go on the very edge of the map and then uh, crouch and wait for... You, you just have to know at that specific spot that you're going to crouch here. Come on. Oh man, that sucks so much. Hurry up and jump. Oh, come on, that's not cool. Ugh. Oh, that was stupid. This part's kinda hard. Cause I'm I'm not confident in the in my platforming. <laughs> because I'm yeah, like exact that. Like exhibit A. Um But yeah, long story short, the only reason you would be good at that game is because either a friend beat it, because they had Nintendo power. Or one of your friends had Nintendo Power, so they shared secrets um, on the playground or schoolyard or whatever at school, and it was a fun experience to. Come on, how do I even dodge these guys? Anyways, Simon's Quest. Uh, great game if you can look past the the imperfections. Um, completely. BS when it comes to actually beating because you have to you have to have Nintendo Power to beat it. It's it's literally impossible. And if you did it, the faithful, then I'm impressed. And you need to show me how to beat it. But yes, Simon's Quest is the one where you find uh, the good old parts. I just need to keep going, or not, just like that. Sounds like Nintendo just like needing gold armor to find a hidden bracelet that really stinks to make the game harder. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what it's like. And I'm sure that there's some specific way or a specific point where you're supposed to get the bracelet, but obviously I do not have Nintendo power. I'm not subscribed anymore, sorry. <laughs> I actually have some Nintendo power uh, magazines that I was gonna show, but there's no camera on them. On, uh, on our YouTube thing, so... And there will never be a camera. Unless we make like a million... million views. A million hits. But, yes, there have a few Nintendo Power things. I would love to collect them all. Because they're, they're a part of history, really. I mean... They get a little expensive, but... I mean, that's literally what you did. It, it was called a charge your your parents phone bill up the up the wazoo and that was that was a part of history kids will never know dial up anymore <laughs> and it's probably the best thing because you know, dial up kind of sucked in every way yeah, come on get away 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 nope stop all right made it all right Music is cool. Okay, we're up here. Come on, I know you're there. Can I go over here? No. Yes? No? Alright. I know you throw bones. Yeah, or not. Yes, thank you. 
Thank you for that. I'm really glad that... What the? Come on. This is... See... That was a... See, what the heck? Just let me go up. Yeah. So, what kind of crap is that? That wasn't my fault. It was... It's strict... It's literally because the game doesn't know what to do. And I'm gonna blame it on the game because, you know what? Yep, come on. There we go. Come on, go up. There we go. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, wait. I wasn't even supposed to go that way. Come on. Oh, so close. I hate these jumps. Oh no, come on, come on. Oh, come on. How was I supposed to know? And what do you know? Game over. But see, these games weren't meant to be marathoned like this. These games are literally like... They're meant to last you in between every single release, so... Games didn't come out as often as they do now, or I don't believe they did. So, um, this game, after you got this game and a Super Nintendo for Christmas, it should last you a, a year or whatever, at least until you finally beat it or your parents caved in and said, You're, you can, you can, uh, you can get a new game when you beat that one. And that's part of the reason why they made these games so difficult. They couldn't program longer games, so make them harder, right? Uh, graphics aren't everything. Games have degraded over time in quality, in my opinion. That's a, that's an intense topic. Um, I will agree that games. How do I want to phrase this? I think that games. Certain games have set the standard too high. So, for example, if we go with a large game such as Skyrim that everybody uses as an example, Skyrim this, Skyrim that, um, that game was so revolutionary to pop culture and gaming culture that every game I feel like, or every gaming development company felt like they had to at least size up to that, because otherwise, like, why would you play a certain other game? I mean, obviously there are different types of games, RPGs, JRPGs, shooters, first-person shooters, platformers, strategy games, uh, puzzle games, y you name it. Um, come on. Uh, but really, if you think about it, like, with what Skyrim brought to the table, it's it just shouldn't have really been possible at that time because of how big um, that game is. Even though there are plenty of games now that are way bigger. I don't know. The point that I'm making is Skyrim set the standard and certain other games set the standard so high that they constantly feel like they have to reach that size. So oftentimes they sacrifice quality over quantity. Or I mean, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I meant to say. Um, so also we get we're getting to the point of what I would call diminishing returns with graphics. Oh, dang, I keep forgetting about this part. So, there is there's no point in history, it, I firmly believe that there is no point in history that will ever be as life-changing in graphics from when we went for, from 16-bit uh, to 64-bit, meaning 3D, okay? There's no point, cause, cause to be in a in a reality where everything was 2D. I mean, like, aside from maybe some CGI scenes in in movies and stuff like that, it felt photorealistic at that point. But um, there will never be a point where it, it will blow your mind uh, the way it did when we went from 16-bit to the 64 or the PlayStation or Dreamcast or. You know, whatever you want to argue is the first one. Or even uh, the uh, Jaguar CD. Um, 
it's just switching from, I mean, it, it's literally switching from dimensions. I mean, a two-dimensional game, side-scrolling or, you know, top-down, whatever, it's still two-dimensional. Adding another dimension in the mix, 3D, uh, is, is life-changing. It's revolutionizing. Um, and then after that, things started slightly improving and uh, slowly embellishing 3D graphics. But I just I don't think that unless we unless we fully commit to VR or another type or AR with you know augmented reality, I don't think that we will experience something in our lifetime that amazing. Unless it's so photorealistic, we're literally you know jacked into the Matrix. Exactly, yeah. The eight bit to sixteen bit is it's huge. Because if you look at, I mean, like, the original Castlevania to this one, you're shocked. And even from the, the Atari uh, 2600 to, to the NES, it's still, like, from the colors to the sound effects, it's, it's incredible. Um, but I don't think that, that things are going to get that much better, <laughs> at least for a long time. I mean, there's a point where it's, like I said, diminishing returns, so... Um, even though we're getting better at in-game graphics, so um, we're rendering the graphics real time, or even pre-rendered stuff. It's it's slight. It's it is getting better, but the technology. Oh, come on, that was stupid. Um, the technology just isn't quite there yet, and it's gonna slightly. We're gonna slightly get more polish, but. It's not going to be as dramatic of a change as 8-bit to 16-bit or, you know, getting an SNES to a Nintendo 64. And that's, I think that's just the way it's, it's going to be. Um, and that might be my pessimistic point of view on it, but I think that it's really easy to get cynical and pessimistic about graphics when once you've experienced a dramatic change like that. Um, for example, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of what it would be for, for my generation. I will speak about uh, 16 and 17 year old, 16 to 20 year olds will understand. Um, but the moment you went from, let me see here, the original Game Boy, which was ugly puke green and blackish gray. You know, it's it's pretty much like a, it's an NES without color. <laughs> but when you went from that to a Game Boy Advance or a Game Boy Color even, or or um, you know even to a DS, it's just like life changing because that that you added all this color and now you have a black or a backlight in the back. Because um, I remember having an original Game Boy and playing Pokemon. Uh, yellow and I literally could only play it during the daytime and obviously in the daytime it sucked because you had you know you had the sun glaring in the screen and you couldn't see anything so when when I changed from a regular Game Boy to a Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, oh my god I, I can see everything and there's color to it and blah 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 like why wouldn't every game be like this um, but game music yes I think that there isn't as much thought that goes into video game composition as there used to be. Because I think part of what drived video game music at that time, from the 16-bit, you know, 8-bit, you know, whatever, at whatever point in time, or even, you know, early 3D stages. Um, sorry, this is a more difficult spot. <laughs> yeah, look at that crap. It's gonna keep falling. Yes, yeah, you keep hitting me. All right, um, train of thought. Uh, I think part of the reason why certain tunes are so memorable in the SNES and the the uh, the NES library is because not only did we grow up with them, we were forced to play levels a thousand times over because I mean because they're not easy games so you're kind of stuck with with playing these beginner stages like the first stage in Sonic like I mean it's not hard but everyone knows the emerald you know the 
Emerald Hills, Green Hill Zone theme. Um, and part of the reason why I think that there's so much motivation as to playing it well is because they knew you were going to hear it a thousand times. So they're like, well, we better make it good. And obviously there is a lot of crap that was on the SNES or NES uh, library that's not good music. Um, and there is a lot of that. But the most memorable stuff really had, you know, heart and quality that was put into it. Come on, that was, that was lame. Um, I think that there's good game music now, but, um, it's really hard to find, because, come on, I knew that was happening, um, because oftentimes, um, the current gamer expects a full soundtrack of whatever, they expect a different theme, there's there's overworld music, there's menu screen music, there's um, character selection music, there's cutscene music, there's motifs from boss battles, and obviously they had that in these games, but I just think that there's more time put into the graphics or rendering certain things or even designing the game than there is necessarily the music. And the ones that do have good soundtracks, I think, stand the test of time. Um, and obviously, uh, good video game music is totally sub subjective because you can go from synthesized uh, soundtracks to uh, live orchestras or recorded bands or or other things like that, or whether you still um, or whether it's still MIDI. Uh, sequenced and stuff like that. So there definitely is a, a lot that goes into designing a soundtrack, but I think that's kind of put in the back burner just because of what modern gamers um, unconsciously demand of video games. If that makes any sense. That was a huge rant. Um, let me read this. It's true though, I had prints from the controller on my thumb from dying on a level a million times. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I experienced that more recently with, with Ninja Gaiden. Like, you, you were there. That's not, not a fun game to die a thousand times over. There we go, we got it. Come on, jump over. Um, new spot, new spot, here we go. Yeah, but that's just the, the way that games were at that time. Um, and everyone got Nintendo Thumb for the most most part. If if it was a if it was a good game, there was a reason why you played it a thousand times. Obviously, because come on, oh that's stupid. Uh, I hate that you can just fall off a thousand times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, everyone knows the, the Skyrim theme, the Fusra Da thing, not just because it was a meme, but because the, the whole da 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 for the king, for the king, for the sake of Skyrim, you know, Dova King, Dova King, that whole thing, but, um, I'm butchering the lyrics, but it's just everyone knows it because we put so much time into that game, everybody did, whether or not they liked, liked that style of RPG, that's, uh, what most people would classify as a Western RPG, um, as opposed to a JRPG, which is Japanese. Um, but come on, come on, get over your skeleton! Oh, and of course they come back. But yeah, it was definitely a different kind of difficulty back in the day, especially with this. And I think that that was both because they wanted the video game to last. Because there was no DLC. <laughs> there was no update. Oh, come on. But also because of the limitations of the game. Because of the limitations of the design. Because um, things were still so new. So they they had to experiment with everything. So they... Re oh, come on. See, for example, like that. Who... Like, what game... What game designer would intentionally be like, Yes, I want knockback. I want every hit this guy to take. You know what? Well, I suppose they still do that now, so never mind. But my point still stands. Uh, 
I think that a lot of stuff was difficult back in the day because of the limitations. That was not cool. All right, so we get this again. And I don't think I can make that because the spot's gone. Yep. Ah, nope, jump. See the, the stupid, stupid thing. And watch, it's gonna bring. What uh, back to the cave. It's like even playing this now. I didn't grow up with this game, but a lot of games, to be completely honest. My my mind creates great memories. Um, I think creating its own kind of artificial. Obviously, I'm not old enough. Soon to be 21 uh, later this year, but. Um, at that point, that was what, 1997, so the PlayStation just came out, like, a year before, or that year, something like that, and the, the year I was born, they finally came out with, there was the release date of, uh, let's see here, what would have came out that year, uh, Final Fantasy VII would have came out that year. Um, Symphony of the Night, which is my favorite Castlevania game, is so good. Um, I believe Metal Gear Solid, the first one, also came out that year. Um, 97 was one of the best years for video games. A lot of people would argue that. 97, um, what is it, 2007 and 2017, people are saying are the best years for video games which is obviously subjective, but depends on what kind of games you like. Uh, but when I was younger, I might have told this story, and I'm going to keep telling it, because I think it's really uh, interesting. In my childhood, I grew up with a Genesis, because I was a Genesis kid, okay? And I never knew about the, the Nintendo or any Nintendo thing. I just thought, oh, Mario, it's just whatever. I didn't know that... Nintendo existed because I was a sheltered child. Um, interesting. We have no more, no more audio. What happened? Oh, there we go. It's back. Um, but uh, where was I? Yeah, I was a Nintendo uh, Genesis kid. Okay, and obviously it wasn't mine. It was my older brother's, and he saved up his money because he liked Sonic and some other games. Uh, so I grew up with the uh, the punk, edgy Genesis, you know, uh, Genesis does what Nintendo scene. Um, and I heard those really metallic, you know, grungy sound effects. Come on, fall. There we go. And that's what I grew up with. And my uh, one of my other brothers had an old Windows 90 computer 90 yeah I think it was 98 and he had at that point I didn't know but there were emulators uh, so he had all the Nintendo games he had Mario 3 he had the all-star collection which had you know all the Mario games he had uh, Castlevania he had this game uh, Castlevania 4 he had Wario he had Mega Man he had you know so many of these classic games that at the on the PC. Uh, so I just naturally said, oh, there's Genesis, and then there's, you know, my brother's computer, which had Link to the Past, and everything you could imagine. Um, and I grew up that, and then later on, I found out for it, and that there was this whole history of Nintendo, Nintendo Power, and, you know, the NES, the Super NES, the Bit Wars, and all this other stuff that they was constantly fighting about. Um, but I just think it's interesting that I grew up creating nostalgia over s these certain games, but never really knew the history behind them, or even knew that they were, that there was an actual console and there were people that people that existed before me imagine that right um, but that's what you think as a kid you're just like oh I just take this at faith value and kind of absorb it but I just have games not on Nintendo at that point I didn't know so I mean I remember playing Doom 2 um, which I shouldn't have been playing at that time <laughs> but it was my older brother's computer and he was an older guy so he's cool 
and he had Doom 2, so I played lots of Doom. Doom 2, got the BFG, which at that point I thought, I literally thought was the big fun gun, uh, which obviously <laughs> it's not that. It stands for something else, I know, hard to break your hearts, guys, but yeah, it's just interesting to uh, witness other people's childhoods and even see current childhoods like nobody I mean even in, in my lifetime uh, there was still 3d games before I mean while I was conscious I won't say I was conscious of my surroundings at two years old or whatever but I have some memories whether I whether they're actually real or not I have no idea but um, I don't remember a time before 3D games. Obviously, since I was only exposed to Genesis and what was ever on the computer, there wasn't really much 3D stuff. But my older brother had a PlayStation 2, which I was amazed by because I could not... I suppose that is a similar thing as to what, what you're talking about, the transition, because... Um, I, I do remember my older brother coming home with a PS2 um, and seeing him play some of those games. So, getting used to a Genesis, which at that point I was playing like Mega Bomberman and Mickey's Castle of Illusion, Togam and Earl, you know, all those, all those classics. Um, but, come on, come on. Alright, so. That ends my rant. I need to I need to focus on this <laughs> so we can actually get far. But yeah, I don't think that anybody currently will experience uh, something that revolutionary. Because anybody born past a certain point now, I mean now they will not even know a, a world without VR. Like by the point in time that they're old enough to consciously be aware of their surroundings VR is gonna get it's it's gonna be pretty good so um, yeah this is weird it's weird to think that stuff like that stuff like that was definitely nothing I'm doing a lot better now PlayStation PS2 is big yes it was cuz I mean if you look at old old uh, PlayStation 1 games, which I like to collect for, because they have a lot of really good JRPGs on there. Um, and even for Dreamcast and stuff like that. But, uh... When my brother came home with a PS2, I was amazed. Because, obviously, I, I wasn't really exposed to the uh, PlayStation, the first PlayStation, because the PS2 could play both. So, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. So, I just naturally thought, oh, I guess these these are these games are for the same console. And I remember seeing the cutscenes for Kingdom Hearts. Now I know some people aren't a fan of the series, but those cutscenes are still amazing to this day. And that that might be a little bit of the whole, you know, Rose Goggle situation. Come on. That's stupid. The Rose Goggle situation where or the idea that you know, nostalgia is clouding your judgment, but I really do think that those cutscenes are amazing, and that was in 2000, 2002, whenever that game came out, because I would have been four years old, five years old, because I was old enough to remember it, because I remember, um, whenever that game came out, I don't remember, but my brother came home with it, and it was cool yeah come on it was cool people with awesome hair and at that point i remember you know before that game came out i remember my brother playing final fantasy 7 and 8 and even 10 on on uh, the playstation so i remember seeing these characters and then he came home with kingdom hearts and that was like donald and goofy and squall or you know cloud or you know whoever was in, in at that point in time and the cutscenes the beginning and end cutscenes of the, that game plus the song is is that that is the essence of my childhood um, it's incredible 
and to revisit those cutscenes you still get chills. And same thing with pretty much anybody with... Oh, come on, I hate this stupid guy. What the heck? I glitched through the floor. Ah, uh, this... I have one more... Ugh, oh, I'm too... I'm too nostalgic right now to, <laughs> to really get mad. Which is it might be a good thing, because my desk is not very well put together. As you guys may hear. Here I am putting my heart and soul into these conversations. <laughs> and no one's responding back. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's probably for the better, because then I can... Come on, there we go, that's a better way to do it. But, yeah. The transition from two dimensions to three dimensions, I don't think will ever be topped unless we can achieve a fourth dimension, which uh, I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. In my lifetime, probably when I'm like seventy. I mean, four dimensions? No, fourth dimension. We can't proceed. That's not possible. Come on. So the only way to really get that is for VR to be amazing or AR. But see, I've we've been through this transition enough where things are still being incremental. So is it really gonna be jaw dropping when we finally achieve it? Whatever it is. I won't know, because that's predicting the future. So Yeah. But yeah, and even still, like if you go back and play some of the 3D games that that were uh, coming out, I think every console generation has a noticeable difference. And obviously, it's easy to discount that because we're used to extreme, uh, you know, 60 frames, whatever PC gaming. So you get hardcore on shadows and light textures and you know, ambiance and stuff like that and render distances and everything. We're gonna, of course, bird birds and crows. Come on, come on, set up any bird and I'm gonna hit you. There we go. But really, I mean, if you go back and look at the difference between a PS4 and a PS2, or a PS4 and, of course that happened. Suck my bone. Um, it's still, like, a noticeable difference. Um, I just don't really have much patience for that. For the, I think my least favorite generation was the PS3, Xbox 360 generation. Just because... I don't know. I was late to the... Late to the party on that one, so I guess it wasn't that amazing. And... I don't know. I don't know why that's my least favorite generation. And there were amazing games that were coming out. I have no idea what's happening right now. This is a boss, right? I don't know what's happening. Hello? Oh boy. Whoa. I mean, like, look at that. That looks amazing. That's miles, miles ahead of... Of course, that, that's the way that it worked. How am I supposed to hit this? Do I just stay down here? Hello? Yes, yes, hello? Yes. Come could help Mass Effect and drama that out. <laughs> yes. 60 FPS could not help that game, because it's not a good game. No matter how much Mystic Dread decides to... Oh, come on. No matter how much Mystic Dread tries to rationalize his purchase. Oh, all the way back here. Um, we made it to the boss, though. Uh, let's see... That 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 was that game was that way for multiple reasons, and that was just because they let a team of inexperienced people do a major part of their game. And even still, I mean, that game still came out after Skyrim or Fallout. Or even though I don't care for the Fallout series much, um, or Just Cause games, or huge open worlds, and then on top of that, it had to live up to the first one and the second one. So, I mean, once you get to certain games and you hit a certain pinnacle, it's a pinnacle. It's literally the highest it will go until, you know, obviously time proves itself. 
but for it's almost unfair for, for certain games or for people to expect certain things of games like I don't I don't know what I, I don't know where I'm going with it but it's just we're getting to the point where so many amazing games have been made and so many nostalgic feelings have yeah, like so many childhoods are made out of certain games, so it makes it impossible to, you know, replace that. So, given that perspective, if you grew up with the first Mass Effect or even the second Mass Effect, it's like nothing is going to compare to that because of how mind blowing it was, because of all the choices and how big the world is. I mean, how do you how do you really improve on that formula? If you love that game so much, then like. I mean, same thing with Zelda to a certain extent, like, my favorite is Link to the Past. Obviously some people, you know, are upset at it for being too formulaic, but if you think about it, there was the first one and the second one. That was it before there. The first one drops you in the middle of nowhere, which you're not collecting crystals, you're collecting pieces of the Triforce, and... Everything is really cryptic, and I, I love the game. I have beaten it, so I understand that. And the mystery that it has about the end, where you don't, you've ne you only hear about Ganon, and and the moment you see him, you're like, oh man, that's it's amazing. He's the he's Ganon. He's that's the boss. And I think that's another thing that, that people oftentimes mess up is there's so much hype and lead up to the enemy and you're exposed to him so much, there's no mystery behind it. Um, unlike the first Legend of Zelda, where you literally don't see him until the end. You just see these crazy dragons and, and uh, other creatures and crabs and stuff like that. But, um, the formula was set, and the standard for Zelda, I believe, was set for in Link to the Past, because that's the one where you collect the crystals, you get the, uh, whatever they are, fairies, princesses, whatever, mages, you know, whatever, I don't remember, been a while. but you do that, and you collect pieces of equipment, that's the one where you get the hammer, and you get certain, and at the very end, you, you have to use the light arrows, and stuff. the point I'm making is, that's where the, the standard was set in that game, and they were too afraid to veer away from that, um, later on, so a lot of people got sick of the formula, they're ergo getting sick of Link to the Past, from what I believe. And that's because, I mean, if you think about it, even Breath of the Wild has that in, in the as you know, certain pieces of equipment, which was in the first one. It's going around and uh, to weaken Ganon, and then you finally beat him at the end. And the map is is pretty cl close to the Link to the Past map. If you compare them, so yeah, I know where I'm going. This this temple is in this side. This is where the sandy area is. But that's also because it, it's familiar to people, so I think that it was okay to go that route. But but I don't know. Zelda's a bad example because they got so formulaic with everything. It was starting to get handled. We have more stuff. Uh, Luke W. PS2 is the greatest console ever besides the Atari. Interesting. I, I do agree. I love the PS2, especially with those amazing cutscenes that certain games had, or or even um, just the, the final, you know, the way they... Because in the original PlayStation 1, I don't, I don't believe the American version was like that, but... I forget what it was. There was an early version of the PlayStation 1 that had uh, only one stick. It wasn't it wasn't the console that finalized the twin stick shooter that we know what it was. It was the later version of the PS2. I could be totally wrong. But that was something that that revolutionized and standardized two sticks or two analog sticks for shooters or platformers, and I think that that's that's definitely something that the PS2 has going for it. Um, not to mention there's so many great RPGs and other things. Yeah, see, hitboxes, man. Um, 
but the Atari was amazing because of at the time all you were dealt with was uh, what was it? There was some ColecoVision stuff, and television I believe came later, and prior to that you had arcade stuff. So the Atari was one of the first consoles that you could really take home and have. I don't want to say the same experience as the arcade, but <laughs> it, was, it, it, it was still amazing at the time. Um, and it was a similar feeling. I guess that's a similar point where where uh, you could argue that that was an amazing transition that lives were changed afterwards. Because prior to that, you had to you either played uh, what are they called? What are they called? Damn. Um, TT uh, RPGs, which is tabletop RPGs, which is pretty much. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and obviously you have CRPG, which is computer RPGs, which most people don't even talk about anymore because it's like, duh, of course you're using a co computer. Um, but it's interesting how, like, nobody would ever use that reference of uh, CRPG. But that's just kind of where our technology has gone. And the Atari was great because... I don't know. <laughs> a lot of reasons. Uh, I don't have a lot of memories of the Atari, but um, it had Pac-Man, it had uh, the original Donkey Kong, it had some other stuff. It had a lot of space shooters, which were great. I love space shooters or shoot 'em ups at that time. Um, what are what are your, some of your uh, favorite games on Atari, Luke W? I think part of the reason why um, Atari had some issues was, I mean, obviously Atari has its own charm. I mean, I'm not going to knock that, but they they constantly tried to improve their formula. Not formula, but come on, that was ridiculous. Um, improve their console by coming out with slightly better variations, like the 5200 and then the 7800. Which the 5200 is its own story. There are lots of lots of issues I would say with that one. Mainly the controller. That was just weird. Um, a lot of people didn't get behind it. But along with and then the 7800, which is actually kind of cool because it could also play, I believe, your 6200 and your 5200s. Or not 62, the 2600. My bad. There's no such thing. No 6200 Atari. But they're so amazing. It's hard to believe that. I wish I was kind of born in that in that time of first experiencing that. Cause I don't know. It's same point as going from uh, analog to digital uh, in music and recording. Because well, I suppose never mind. I would not want to be a part of that. Dang it! This game is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I definitely have to say PlayStation 2 is one of my favorite consoles. Even though it is what I believe the least uh, powerful of the, at that point, the console generation. What was it? At that point in time, it was the GameCube, uh, the original Xbox, and then the PS2, and I believe the PS2 was the most underpowered console, but it, you know, it did so amazing with what it had. SNES will always be your fave. Yes, I think SNES is the pinnacle of um, of 2D uh, in that in that aspect. Even though I believe that you know, uh, 32 bits and stuff like that um, are absolutely amazing. But I just, I think that it doesn't really get much better than this, because everything is pretty much clearly, clearly laid out. Obviously some things are, are a little lack for luster, but oh, it's so, so revolutionary. It's crazy. I don't want to wait for this bird. That's another thing this game did that most other ones didn't, is you can actually move on it and you can attack on the stairs. Imagine that. I don't want to get hit by that, do I? This thing? Yes. Yeah, 
And there you go. Hold on. Going all the way up. And this is where a dude falls down. Nope, we got some health. I would have to say, even though I didn't grow up with an SNES, I would say it's definitely my favorite 2D console. And I know I'm betraying my Genesis brethren, but... Alright, there we go. Take this and use a butt butt with axes. Even though I only have 27 hearts. The music is so good too. And this, and all this, everything sounded amazing. It does so much damage. Ugh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Eh, eh. There we go. There we go. Yay. We got it. And what? Did it. That's right. Beat it. My favorite. Yeah, it sounds like a heart. A heart. Sounds like a heart. I think part of the reason why the Atari was so great too is because at that point in time kids were kids were used to adding imagination into into the game. So like it wasn't I mean even though things did not look how they supposedly did, or were supposed to, because in the Atari, things uh, were not clearly spelled out, so oftentimes you find found yourself imagining them, that, oh, this, this kind of looks like a spaceship, or this is a bomb, or the sound effect says that this is a, I guess, an animal, or stuff like that, and it was more fun to, to add that sense of imagination to it, and the nice thing about the NES is there's still some of that. And the cool thing about the Super Nintendo is most of it's clearly spelled out, and that allowed the artist or the game designer to really give shape to what they wanted the game to look like. Um, but yes, I would have to say... I don't know, I really love the NES. It's really hard to, to pick, but I'd say... Super Nintendo and PS2. Uh, I love the Dreamcast because there are a lot of really great RPGs on there, so I have to say that, but I think the Super Nintendo kind of perfected the 2D, 2D art, aside from, you know, the, the separately developed and programmed um, uh, once again, I'm losing my train of thought. This. I keep forgetting that there's the wall guys here. I think that the NES is plagued with uh, is plagued with too many. Uh, I don't know this part. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. Uh, yeah, I know they do follow my movement. It is creepy, but that's part of the Nintendo polish. That's something that that they couldn't do with the NES because of the limitations of the hardware. I mean, it's not even necessarily the game programmers, because if you play the old Castlevania games, you can still feel that this is what they were kind of going for. It's just... Yeah, that's horrible. And let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, like, that's just extra Nintendo polish that they were known for. It was great. I wonder if there's anything I really need down there as an expert is like, oh, that's actually the weapon that you need to beat the game. It's a bracelet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what it is. A bracelet. So you can fight the final boss in Ghosts and Goblins. Oh no. Here we go. Oh. This is where Medusa... Yeah, see, bats. Whenever there's a platforming section like this, it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna just throw in bats and Medusa heads. It's the worst thing. Yep, see, look at that. There we are. I feel like here's another boss. Yep, here's another boss. Where are we at? We're at block one. Oh no. Oops, that's a little, that's kinda creepy. But like look how intense this is for even Come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. This guy's not too difficult at all, so pretty easy. Even though I lost a lot of health, that's 
Yeah. Oh no, this is... We're getting closer to the really hardcore stuff. I want to see if there's a turkey leg here. Nope. If anybody knows where secrets are, please let me know. Because <laughs> I'm running low on health. Oh, that's right. This is the world that spins. There's a, there's a world in the Ghosts and Goblins that does that. And swinging, and swinging, and swinging, and swing. swing. Boy, that makes it crazy. Crazy to have Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, Medusa head heads. Come on. Oh, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Where am I supposed to go? So, odds are... Um, let's keep going. I don't know where I was, but... Back in the good old days tangent. I'm sure I'm supposed to swing really hard and do something Indiana Jones style. Yeah, we have that, we have this, we have that. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Am I stupid? I don't, I honestly don't know. There's spikes on the wall. So... Oh no. Do I just hook back onto it? Look at that. There we go. I'm trying to be it. But yeah, I mean, the SNES is all gave us Chrono Trigger and uh, Secret of Mana, Secret of Ever, the Pack League give my life away to, to Super Nintendo. Oh, of course that happened. Let's see, what are some other games that, I mean, there are so many amazing games. It's hard to think of some because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, there's so many. I'm not saying that as a cop out. It's there are there are amazing games. This is sadly this has turned into relive the good old days uh, stream. But sorry about that. Even though most of the people listening are from the good old days, so it helps. Actually, let's go down here and let's get some extra stuff. We have the axe now. That's good. Oh, and this, it also gave us Super Mario World. Um, even though Super Mario 3 is my favorite, um, it does have Super Mario World. And Donkey Kong Country. Oh, I love that game. It's such a great game. And the graphics were amazing, too. It's slightly uh, 3D. 3D rendered um, mascots. It's crazy at the time. So yeah, I forget what it is, but a lot of people. I might have said this in. Oh, come on! Come on! All right, all right. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. We have two lives. This is, still feels more doable than Ghosts and Goblins. <laughs> Or ghouls and ghosts, whichever one. Oh, come on, the platforms, man. What time is it? It's Eleven thirty. I've been streaming for. Let's see how long I've been streaming. Let's see. Uh, we have two hours. Not that bad. The issue is, I know most people won't watch all the way through. So. I just want to play this game now, because this feels good. This is comfort food to me. The SNES is comfort food. That's, come on, man. It's ridiculous. I can't even control it properly. Eh. Super fun gaming couch. Gotta make like a tree and leave on the Sabbath tomorrow. See ya. See ya, uh, the faithful. It was a pleasure. Um, com it was a pleasure talking at you and getting your input on the situation. And I understand, tomorrow is the Sabbath. Gotta get up for church. But, yeah. So, 
now you got me hooked on this game. <laughs> it's not good. Now I'm not going to be able to sleep. But it was a pleasure. Thank you. And I will see you in the future. See you in the... I don't see you in the future, I see you in the past year. That's what everybody always says. And this is true. Alright. Got a game over. It's okay. I will do better. Lots of, lots of this better. Make sure to leave a thumbs up before you leave if you're still here. It'll help, help out. If you, if you can't donate your life away and put a second mortgage on the car for us, then we would appreciate a thumbs up. your input though, uh, Luke W. W. Very solid. Next area. If I can figure out this whole thing. <clears throat> so, I don't understand where I'm supposed to go. I just don't get it. Usually it's pretty laid out. do need to hook back onto it. That's ridiculous. That's horse rubbish. <sighs> Alright, if anybody else is listening. It's time to get down and dirty. We're gonna hook back onto this. Hook back onto it and hope that you know, all these guys will leave us alone. Come on, you can. Oh, come on! What was that? What was that? That was ridiculous. What am I supposed to be doing? I honestly don't know. Oh, come on, come on, get up there. I don't think that that other spot is real. So I'm gonna figure this out. I've never played this game all the way through, so farthest I've gotten. I just keep hitting them until until uh, the room starts spinning. Come on, give me a better whip. 
Yep, that's what I was supposed to do. That's easy. Got that. Now we got spikes. Not good. Well, keep spinning. Keep spinning. You got, got it. Alright. No platform. We have a hole. That has to be what I'm supposed to do. Or we have more platforms coming out of the wall. Sweet. There we go. There we go. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Ta-da! Oh, that's right. Here it is. This part is amazing. I love this part. It's so cool. This is the special graphics. Um, I forget what they call it. It's not mode 7. No, maybe it is. I think it is mode 7. This is the mode 7 graphics. It makes it appear as though it's 3D. Which is pretty cool. Um, similar to the whole... Uh, no, I real actually. That was on that NES. Mode 7 is a cool thing that that added on the Super Nintendo. It's an extra little chip that uh, gave it this capability to appear 3D and fall off, just like that. Uh, Alright. Okay. It's okay. We can, we don't have to let these guys fall, so... Okay, one of my favorite streamers went live right now, too. He's gonna steal my thunder. Yep, that's what I thought. This isn't that difficult, as difficult as I remember, but, you know, I was probably six years old the last time I played this. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you just think it pop up wherever you want. And we made it! Does this drop? Nope, just keeps going. And of course, bats on the floor. Let's keep... Oh, that's right, I remember this part. Oh, no, I don't remember this part. I've seen other people play it. But it's not good. I don't know why, because of this. Nope, that's right, I chose the wrong one. <laughs> chose the wrong one. It's it's all up for grabs. Alright, let's go. And the next. Bad. Daddy A. Nope. Oh, oh. I can't make the jump. There we go. Um, which one is this? This is the right one. If it's the wrong one, then we die. We died together. This one has to be a good one. Right? I'm just trusting it's gonna be good. It's gonna be kosher. Right? It's cool, it's kosher. Alright. I don't know how much more I'm going to play with that in, in audience, so... Oh, yeah, that's right, we need to go over to the side. Choose the next one, and hopefully make it... Nope! Nope! Oh, man. It's so bad. Oh, it's to death. That's what that is. This music is so good too. Alright, we made it this far. Is this anything? I could have sworn this is something. This has got to be something. But yeah, so I'm just going to stay quiet. Remember that jitter. Oh, so good. I should have gotten that heart, but that's okay. Man, this, is, this level's a real time soak. Nope. Oh, so close. That's ridiculous. They cut it so close. On that note, guys, it, it was a pleasure. 
I will continue to, to play this game. This makes me feel a little bit better about myself than uh, Ghosts and Goblins. So, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to, you know, help support us uh, and give us a little thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And if you like this video, odds are you'll probably like me suffering even more with Ghosts and Goblins. So, if you like to revisit those or even go back to our other uh, our other videos, our older videos, we will get back to those. If you'd like to show us some extra love and gratuity, then feel free to check us out at paypal.me slash gaming couch, and you should see a little uh, spot there to donate. It's fine either way. We really appreciate you uh, listening, and I will continue to stream and help this give this channel some sort of act activity, not action, because that's suggestive. Bye.